This is Clarence Hill with StarTelegram.com. Coming to you from Cowboys Training Camp. We got former Texas quarterback Chris Sims. He's working with CBS Sports now out here at camp. Yep. Can you give me your impression of the Cowboys? Well, I mean, the Cowboys are a top-notch organization. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you can tell just by the setup they got here, everything. Uh, I've yet to see a, a full live practice, but watch the walkthrough. Of course, extremely detailed. Uh, you know, I've been around Jason Garrett and, and Monty Kiffin and Rod Marinelli, so I know what kind of coaches they are like. And you can tell out here in practice, uh, everybody's on the screws, messes up. You know, there's mess up. They, they come back. They do it again. Uh, you know, the Cowboys, a lot, of course, are under the microscope more than any other team in football. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I do trust and have uh, a great amount of respect for the coaches that are that are running this team. Well, certainly, you were in Tampa with Rod and right. Monty and those guys. Right. What makes Rod? I mean, the, from the, from our point of view, the Cowboys are trusting that because they have Rod, because he's right. now in control of the defense, that's going to make a big difference because yep. they didn't really bring a lot of talent on the defense. But they trust Rod's coaching. Why is he such a good coach? Well, he, he's uh, just got an unbelievable way about him. He's an unbelievable motivator. Uh, when I was in Tampa, uh, he was the defensive line coach. He just had a great way with not only the defensive line but the whole defense. So players rally around him. Uh, he's very brutally honest. I think they respect that about him at the end of the day. And as you know, the, the game is one up front, and Rod Marinelli is an expert at defensive line play. Mm -hmm. I think he'll get the most out of this bunch. And, and of course, you know, you can win the win the line of scrimmage. You can be in a lot of games. Mm -hmm. You're a quarterback, certainly a former quarterback. Did Lightning Rod for criticism or, or from fans to a certain extent in college. Can you talk about Tony, your impressions of Tony, sure. and, and what kind of quarterback you think he is? And does he get the credit he deserves? No, Tony Tony Romo does not get the credit he deserves. I am a uh, huge Tony Romo fan. The whole Sims family is. I mean, but to me, is uh, unfairly portrayed a lot of times. <laughs> Very underrated, in my opinion. I think he gets a lot of uh, scrutiny, maybe for maybe one, two bad plays here and there. But then you look at the whole scope of the game and some of those games that he plays in. Well, you say, "Oh man, I don't know if the Cowboys would have been in, in the game period if it weren't for Tony Romo." So uh, he's extremely talented. He's smart. Uh, he is one of the best playmakers at the quarterback position in all of sports. Uh, you know, for whatever reason, people like to rag on him. Uh, but but to me. He is certainly in the top tier of NFL quarterbacks. Well, I'd be remiss not to ask you about Texas and what's going on. Mac Brown's gone. Charlie Strong's come in. Can you talk about the change? Was the change necessary? And what do you think of Charlie Strong? Well, I do think the change was necessary. I don't think there's any doubt about that. You know, Mac had a great run, and I have the ultimate respect for Mac. Uh, he did so many great things for the program. He brought it up to a, a level I don't think anybody could even uh, ever have expected. Uh, but at the same time, hey, everything runs its course. I think the NFL draft is last year kind of showed that it was maybe time to make a move. No player drafted at the University of Texas. Uh, but, but uh, you know, Charlie Strong, uh, a guy that recruited me when he was at Florida under Steve Spurrier, he is a no-nonsense, real football guy. Uh, I think he will get the program going back in the right direction. There's no doubt about it. He's going to get everybody in line. And uh, I think his, you know, his, his recruiting skills are very underrated, too. Not only will he succeed in Texas, I don't have any doubts about that. He has a little pipeline in Florida, so he might be able to steal a few players from there. And I think you just look what he did at Louisville. And Louisville had three first-round picks this, this past year. So that tells you that he can acquire talent. There you go. Chris Sims, former Texas quarterback, star in the rise of the broadcast industry.